switching over to chlorella, which is spirulina, by the way, was a blue-green algae because it has two pigments in it, a blue one called phycocyanin. And I'll tell you some of the amazing properties of that blue pigment. And the other pigment in spirulina is chlorophyll, which of course people are familiar with. It's a green pigment. Chlorella only has the green pigment called chlorophyll. Mm -hmm. It has the highest concentration of chlorophyll in the world. That's why it's called chlorella because of the chlorophyll. It has 500 times more chlorophyll than arugula and 25 times more chlorophyll than liquid chlorophyll. Nothing in the world with more chlorophyll than chlorella. So I tell people, well, if you're taking chlorophyll water, that's great. But this has 25 times more, plus you get protein and 40 vitamins and minerals. So don't cheat yourself. You up level to chlorella. But chlorella is a different kind of algae. It does not satisfy your hunger, does not give you energy like spirulina does. But what it does is it builds your immune system and pulls out toxins. Remember I said spirulina has no cellulose wall, which is why it's absorbed so quickly. Chlorella has the hardest cellulose wall in the plant kingdom. And that hard cell wall attaches to heavy metals, lead, mercury, radiation, aluminum, glyphosate, pesticides, spores, microtoxins, uh, alcohol, lactic acid, and pulls them out. So it's a chelator. You don't yep. need activated charcoal. And while it's doing that, it's also injecting 40 vitamins and minerals into your body. It has the highest glutathione in the world. So it's very much a cleansing and detoxing algae. So that so it's very much a wellness algae. And be, it also builds your immune system because it has all the nutrients that your immune system needs uh, and of course, 80% of your immune system is in your gut. Chlorella, it had that hard cell wall has fiber in it. So it feeds the gut biome, those bacteria, the short the fiber it needs to make short chain fatty acids, which also help with the health of your gut. So it's very much a gut oriented algae, healing algae, detoxing algae, cleansing algae, whereas spirulina is a nourishing energizing brain algae. And while we're talking about chlorophyll, you may already know this, uh, Dr. Tina, but chlorophyll, the chemical composition of chlorophyll is ident virtually identical to the chemical composition of your hemoglobin. For up until just even as, as recently as World War II, when if they ran out of blood for transfusions for the injured, they would give them liquid chlorophyll because wow. they would heal just as fast. It builds your blood. But our soils are so damaged and our ozone layer is damaged. Our vegetables, doesn't matter whether it's arugula or any kind of greens, simply does not have any medicinal quantity of chlorophyll in it anymore. So your only shot is chlorella or spirulina algae. So this is why carnivores, I want you to pay attention because you're missing this really critical nutrient. By the way, chlorophyll kills bacteria. I have a lot of carnivore friends and one of the things I've noticed is they tend to have bad breath <laughs> because a lot of the meat gets stuck in your teeth and then it gets attracts bacteria. It's the bacteria that's causing the uh, scent that is not terribly attractive. So chlorophyll kills bacteria in your mouth, in your colon, anywhere in your body. You could actually use it on, on an on a injury, in fact. So very, very cleansing. Uh, you may not uh, know this also, but chlorophyll is a fat-based pigment. I'm going to show you a picture. This is I did this experiment 25, 30 times. I put some spirulina in a bowl with water, and this beautiful blue color, which is the phycocyanin, would disperse evenly through the water. Then it would do the same thing with the chlorella, and see how it clumped? It wouldn't disperse beautifully like its brother over here, spirulina. Oh, interesting. I finally figured out what was going on. Phycocyanin, the blue pigment, is a water-based pigment, which is why it disperses evenly. This is also why phycocyanin is very healing to the lymphatic system, to the blood. But chlorel chlorophyll, turns out, and you can Google this, is a fat-based pigment. So it fat and water don't mix, so it clumps. And the reason why I want you to know that is because chlorophyll builds your cell walls which are fat-based, they're as much as an omega-3 or a D3 does. So it's very healing to the cell wall, as well as building your blood because it has a very similar chemical composition. And it also, because it's so alkalining, it protects your bones because when you have too much of an acidic food and a carnivore diet is very acidic, your body knows that it needs to 
uh, and your blood needs to be slightly alkaline, 7.34 on the scale of 0 to 14. So your body knows that it can't have acidic blood. So what it does is it pulls minerals out of your bones or your organs or your cells to neutralize too much acidity. It does it automatically. But if that goes on for a very long period of time, it leads can lead to osteoporosis. It can lead to uh, other kinds of diseases. A lot of people get gout uh, or kidney stones because that's too much um, acid building up or calcif calcification because because you get a lot of calcium buildup. So so spirulina or chlorella will neutralize that acidity and help you avoid those kinds of situations. So chlorophyll is very nourishing. But if you're not eating vegetables, and most carnivores aren't, <laughs> chlorella or spirulina could be your solution for sure and not give you any of the downsides of, of vegetables. That's why I like it. That's honestly, yeah. that was why I was like, yeah, I'm interested in this because that's it. I was like, I know I need the nutrients in this and I am not getting them if I'm too meat-based and avoiding vegetables. And yeah. I'm, a la I'm a lazy cook. <laughs> I don't love preparing vegetables. I don't even like going to buy them. The whole thing is a headache. I know. I know. What, I, I, You're not I know alone. What, yeah. It's just, it's like, that's, I think one of the reasons why people do love that carnivore lifestyle. Cause it's just so easy, so but easy. it takes a lot of choices out of it and you don't have to flavor things. And not that I don't love a good, well-cooked vegetable dish when I go out, but then you're dealing with potentially, you know, seed oils oh. and all that jazz. Oh, so I know. I know. I, you know, like uh, wa guacamole or what's it with you? Know, waka. When yeah. <laughs> to eat, it's like any, any issue. Yeah. Do you cook with seed oils? Is is organic? You right. know, I don't want any dressing because we know that'll have seed oils. It just takes the fun out of eating. And But if you get a nice, good grass fed piece of filet, you're good to go. Right. <laughs> so yeah, I, that's my favorite. Yeah. yeah.